Today, I'm at Heather Farm, where a whole crew of people are getting ready to install a floating island. It's really gonna help this local environment. Come on. Okay, did good so far. You guys ready to plant? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're getting close to putting the floating islands in, but first I got a couple of questions. Uh, Laddie, what is a floating island? What can we expect? Uh, the, the islands float on the water. Uh, uh, they, they are made up of plastic bottles. Uh, and uh, in the layers of the plastic, we put this buoyant foam. Today, we'll put on plants. And the interesting thing is that the plants grow from food out of the lake. And the food is the nitrate load. It's the bad stuff, it's the constituent of the lake that happens when the warm water uh, starts developing algae. And so they uh, love that nitrate load and they grow very prolifically. Uh, so what we'll see in about 30 days is a very vibrant, robust uh, water garden. The other part of these islands, uh, the benefit and the benefit that the city of Walnut Creek saw was this happens to be a fishing lake. So the fish are going to be attracted to these islands, an incredible technology. It's old, it's been established, studied for years, but the development of the floating island using plastic is fairly new. And Stacy, you're in charge of picking the plants, right? Can you tell me a little bit about what's going in today? Well, basically, we want a wide assortment of plants that not only are workhorses and help to take that nitrogen out and those different types of um, the chemicals and nutrients that otherwise the algae would feed off of, but we also want it to look beautiful for the public. And so we also have some flowering plants that butterflies and hummingbirds and, and other critters will love to, to use. So, You're telling me there's two different islands? There's a red and a yellow? Explain that. Basically, there's going to be two different islands, and we have a color theme for one that's predominantly yellow, and the second one is predominantly red. So we can kind of, you know, watch both of them as they, they grow and, and uh, mature, and um, they should be a lot of fun. You know, this dirt is going in here really, really nice. Doing this type of planting is a whole lot of fun because okay, it just, be you know it's going to grow really, really nicely out in the water. It's going to provide some uh, great benefits. Um, this is just a phenomenal bit of technology that's really going to uh, help the water quality of this area. So I'm actually delighted to be able to plant. This is what it's all about right here. I mean, the goal is to continually improve the city environmentally, make sure it's sustainable for the time for the future. And this is, this is part of what we do every day, but this is a, a big part of it. So we're looking forward to getting these launched and adding more in the future to uh, some of our other lakes. So. so Jimmy, you found a frog? Yeah, a frog on the island. Uh probably came one of the plants or something. We just pawned it out there. So. so what did we decide to do with the frog? Uh, we put it on the island. Um, it will probably go out in the middle, probably swim back shore, or maybe it'll stay on the island. Who knows? You were pretty good at catching them. I saw you working them. I, I, I try to catch them a lot. I um, try to look for them in the stream. So yeah, I've practiced. Yeah? yeah. So besides the frogs, what else did you put on the island? Uh, we put uh, tons of plants, um, lots of plants, and um, we put up garter rails so geese don't get on them. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully the plants but, will thrive. Well, those are coming down once the plants get bigger, right? Yes, yes they will. Um, they we just don't want the geese to eat them. All right, man. I'll let you get back to catching frogs. Thank you. Thank you. You guys get to count one, two, three, rip. One, two, three, rip. Okay. Now let's push it out. So 
Bob, tell me how the city worked with a lot of local organizations to make this happen. This all started with two people meeting at what I call the Wal Walnut Creek Watershed Council. It's a newer entity, and basically what happened is the Director of Public Services for the city, Heather Ballinger, met with the head of the, one of the members of the Diablo Valley Fly Fishermen, and they started talking about the lack of sizable fish in this pond, and Heather suggested that uh, Ted meet with uh, Mike Vickers, the public services manager, and they just started talking and they came up with this concept of the floating island technology. Uh, and then Mike just started working it with staff and working it through the whole system to the stage that we are today where the islands are installed. We well, had a great time installing the floating islands today with the whole crew, and especially the kids from Seven Hill School. If you want to know what else is going on at Heather Farm, you can always visit the city's website.